What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a super cool, awesome new kind of lace that Azul Hair Collection was going to be featuring on their website. It's already available so you guys can go check that out. This is the HD Film Lace. As you can see, it blends really nicely. You literally can't tell that I'm wearing a wig right now. This looks like my own hair. <laughs> this is the 14 inch, this might be a 16 inch, not gonna lie. I will confirm that and put that down in the bottom bar below for you guys, but this is their Wavy Lace Frontal HD Film Lace. So I did film just a little bit of a tutorial for you guys on how I install this lace using the Extreme Cream Active by Bold Hold. And so far I really like the glue. It's sitting really nicely with this lace. I will have all of the specs, the cost of this wig and everything down below for you guys so you can check that out. But without further ado, let's just get straight on into the tutorial and I'll see you guys at the end. So here is the wig. I already bleached the knots and it looks really nice against my skin as you can see. There are four combs and an adjustable strap in the back. Here I'm just showing you guys my little technique to pluck. I don't really like to do a lot of plucking because it's like very annoying for me. <laughs> it gives me so much anxiety, but here I'm just showing you the side where I plucked and the side that I didn't. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I shape the wig to my natural hairline. So I like to put the wig on after I've done some plucking on the sides. And then I start to get rid of some of that hair right there in the front on the forehead. Since my hairline sits farther back at the forehead than it does at those parts by my eyebrows, this is this the easiest way that I found for me to do it. I just kind of twist the hair around my fingers and start to pull until it starts to look more like my natural hairline, if that makes sense. So it's pretty easy to pluck the hairs out of the lace on this HD film lace. The lace is pretty sturdy. I didn't experience any like holes or anything that like that while I was doing this. So that's good. I didn't have any problems. It just worked out well for me. So hopefully if you guys try this, it'll work out well for you. Shout out to my friend Danielle there in the background. <laughs> she helped me figure out how to get my videos to work on my camera. You know, I was struggling with getting my camera to work with my computer, but she helped me out. So the next videos you'll see will be filmed on a better quality camera and not my iPhone. So I'm excited. Here you just see me. I had cut off the sides by the ears, just the lace portions, and I've tucked the hair behind my ears. Now I'm just making sure everything looks good. I'm gonna fold back that wig and I'm going to use this Bold Hold Skin Protect right across my hairline there for the parts where I'm gonna put the glue. This is also from Bold Hold and the, the glue that I'm using is the Bold Hold Extreme Cream. I like to do about two layers. The glue dries pretty fast so it doesn't really take that long. You don't have to wait like a thousand years for the glue to dry. And I've tried the regular Bold Hold. I do think that I like the Bold Hold Extreme Cream more. I sweat more along my hairline, so this one worked really well for me. Uh, I think this is the one I'll be using from now on. Just gonna blow dry that on cool until it starts to turn clear. As you can see at the top, it's already clear. So now we're gonna start to place our wig down. Take your time with this. Don't press it in until you're sure that it's in the right space. I'm 
Now I'm just using a rat tail comb to press the lace into the glue. And then I'm gonna blow dry her on cool again and tie her down. The first time I tied this down, I used this satin pink scarf. I don't know that I really like this one, so when I tied her down later on in the video when I redid this part, you'll see that I used just a stretchy sock, like a knee-high sock. Sometimes I'll use a nylon tight. It just gets it tighter down around your ears so that the part's close to your ears and your like sideburn stays nice and flat and doesn't lift. She already looks super melted in. It's awesome. Now here you see I had a little bit of glue that you could still see through the lace. So I just took a little bit of the alcohol on a cotton swab and I'm cleaning that up. And then I'm gonna go back in with glue in the areas that I needed to fix and I'm gonna tie it back down after I blow dry it again I'm cool so that I can get that full melt All right, and now I'm gonna start cutting off that lace. I like to use the scissors. I know some people like to use a razor. I've tried that, but I'm a little too worried that I'm gonna like cut myself, so the scissors just work best for me right now. I may try it again, but for now, I just like to use the scissors. She is melted, you guys. She looks so good. And now she is on and secure. Gonna start styling her up. As you can see, there's the parting space. She's got about four inches of parting through the middle. So after just using my hot comb to mold the side where I wanted my hair to be parted on, I'm going in with just this little wax stick to kind of hold down those flyaways. And then I'm gonna go in with this wave iron and start crimping her up. I did not know how I was gonna feel about this thing, but I actually love it. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. I don't know the words, but I feel pretty. Yo, this wave iron though. <laughs> Sis. This wave iron in this length. So cute. So cute. So cute. It feels so pretty. <laughs> I didn't even ever think that I would wear hair this length ever. And Nick knew, Nick knew that this would look cute. Thank you, Nick, you're the best. I absolutely love this length on me. You were right, this is cute.
All right, you guys, that was my tutorial on how I install my lace frontal wig. Again, this is the HD Film Lace from Azul Hair Collection. I do have a piece of the lace that I can show you guys. It's the thinnest lace on the market, okay? So this lace is gonna be softer than a Swiss lace, softer than the transparent lace, and it looks like this. It's super thin, nice and stretchy. It was really easy for me to pluck the frontal on this because the lace, like it didn't rip as easily as other laces that I've had in the past. As you can see across my skin, it's super transparent, like way more transparent than transparent lace. It's a little bit more expensive than transparent lace, but it's worth it, you guys, if you want to have your frontals looking flawless like this. Let's do another little up close. <laughs> so yes, I will have all the specs about this wig in the bottom bar below. I do still have the $5 off link, so I will share that guys with you guys so you can get the $5 off of this lace and any other products you would like to get from Azul Hair Collection. They've got a, a lot of different things, so there's something for everybody. But I really do love this one. She's looking cute. I wasn't sure I was gonna love having short hair because you know me, I love to have the like 22, 24 inch wigs, but this looks so good. I feel so mature and like grown and sexy in this one. So I definitely think this is one I'll be wearing very often. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos I have coming up. I've got a lot of really cool things coming for you guys. And I'm finally like getting it done with these YouTube videos. I'm so excited. I finally learned how to start editing, getting these videos made, and it's going well. I'm so excited. So stay tuned, you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check me out on Snapchat. I'm a hoot and a holler and you'll like it. So make sure you guys hit that bell so you can see when I post new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.